Welcome to the Designing the Row Squarespace store setup series. This is just one video of many where I teach you how to set up your Squarespace store from start to finish. I'm Katherine Forbes, founder of Designing the Row, and I'm also a Squarespace expert, Squarespace authorized trainer, and Squarespace circle member. So if you are looking for help building your Squarespace website, you've come to the right place. First things first, let's get your store page actually started on your website. I have my Music Biz Besties site pulled up here, which is Squarespace 7.0, and the Lexi Lawrence template over here, which is Squarespace 7.1. Setting up your store and managing your store on both Squarespace 7.0 and 7.1 is so similar. The only difference I found is really just actually adding a store to your site, and even then it's still pretty similar. But I'm gonna show you on both. So let's start on 7.0 first. So to, if you don't already have a store on your website, just come into Pages. And I suggest you scroll down to the Not Linked section so you can work on your store kind of in the back end before um, you're ready to put it up in the main navigation. So just click this plus button right here and you will see this right here. It says Products with the money sign. Click that and name it whatever you want. Hit Enter. It'll give you this. You can go through it or not. I'm going to hit close. And that is how you actually add a store to your website. It's so easy. I'm going to jump over to 7.1 really quick and show you the same thing. So come into Pages, Not Linked, add the plus button, and right here it says Store. And then it's going to give you an option between Store 1 and Store 2. I prefer Store 1 because it allows you to add a header to the top of the page, whereas Store 2 is simply just products. So I'm going to click store one and again, name it what you want, hit enter, and now you have a store that you can customize. So 7.1 kind of builds it out for you a little bit and 7.0 is just kind of a blank canvas. I honestly prefer the blank canvas. So what I would do is come in here and just highlight these three products, delete <laughs> all of that and just delete this text and kind of start from scratch on your own. But that is how you actually add the store function to your website. It's super easy. If this video tutorial was helpful, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and if you have any further questions, you can leave them for me in the comments. And as this is a series, I will leave the next video for you right here. And don't forget that over at designingtheroad.com, I have more tips and resources on how you can build and grow your online presence.